Today we are going to tackle about the acculturation model proposed by John H. Schumann. Actually guys, this topic is just a piece of cake. The first time I encountered this topic, acculturation model, I was really confused because I did not read carefully and comprehensively. But right now, I understand. I really understand the whole topic. But guys, still I understand and I was the one who report that 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 certain day. Yeah. I was able to relay the information on the man. But right now I don't have a choice and I need to finish this task. But seriously guys, this video will help you understand the acculturation model. You will get to know what acculturation model is. So let's start, let's begin. We are running out of time. This is John H. Schumann. He was born on May 23, 1943. Acculturation means by it is the process by which a human being acquires the culture of a particular society. Acculturation model is based on the social psychology of acculturation, according to my daddy Schumann. According to Sir John H. Schumann. Cultures and language is always connected to each other. The language reflects the culture and they are inseparable. There are two groups of variables of acculturation model. The first one is the social factors and the second one is the affective factors. Let's begin with the social factors. There are seven social factors. The first one is the social dominance. Social dominance means if the second language learning group is inferior to the target language group, there is a great social distance between the two. The second language learning group will not acquire the target language. But if the two groups are equally inferior with each other, there is no social distance will happen. In fact, the second language learning group will acquire the target language group. That's social dominance. The second social factor is the integration and the integration has three strategies the first one is the assimilation the second one is preservation and the third one is the adaptation assimilation is when the second language learning group gives up its own values lifestyles cultures <coughs> and adopts the cultures lifestyles language of the target language group then there will be no great social distance will happen in fact the two groups will be united and they will there is interaction that's assimilation but preservation if the second language learning group <coughs> preserve their own cultures lifestyles values and their language and do not entertain the target language groups group traditions cultures language so there will be a great social distance between the two and there will be no interaction will happen because this group loves their own cultures and traditions in their language there is a group there is a great social distance between the two that's preservation adaptation is when the second language learning group adopts the lifestyle values and cultures of the target language group then there will be no social distance will happen but the second language learning group just they just maintain their own cultures traditions and language but they also adopt the target language group cultures values lifestyles and the language as well so there is no social distance will happen that's adaptation so we are now in the third social factors in which it is the enclosure. So the enclosure is the degree. If the second language learning group and the target language group share the same social constructs like schools, um, churches, so there is 
eh, there is no social distance will happen. In fact, they will, there is interaction. But if the enclosure is high, when they have different social constructs, like they, they, do, not, they do not share the same social construct. So, the second language learning group will not acquire the target language group and there is a great social distance between the two. So, enclosure is the degree. That's it. The fourth one is the cohesiveness in size. It means that if the second language learning group um, is closely united with each other, it will tend to remain separate from the target language group. And if the second language learning group has a big population, so there will be no acquisition will happen and there is a great social distance between the two the second language learning group will not learn the target language group and that's cohesiveness in size congruence means if these two groups this uh have the same cultures so there will be no great social distance will happen in fact there is interaction between the two and the second language learning group will acquire the target language group guys is the attitude if these two groups have this positive attitude so learning the target language or the second language is more facilitated or or there will be no great social distance will happen because they have shared the same positive attitudes that part positive one last one is it's the length of residence in the target language area if the second language learning group stays for a long time in the target language group place of course guys there is uh there there will be no social distance will happen in fact the second language learning group will acquire the target language group that's the length of residence in the target language area that's the last factor of the social factor guys let's proceed with the affective factors and it has three the psychological variables which influence the acculturation and the second language acquisition includes the language shock cultural shock and motivation the language shock we all know guys the children sees language with um creativity they love to create new languages and they don't fear criticisms unlike adults like us we fear criticisms and we do not speak the language fluently because we are afraid of criticisms so that is language shock and always remember guys when you're going to go to a certain place or a country you need to have a background research about it so that you will not be alone because you know no one is an island you need to socialize with other people and you need to learn the language that they are using or your own language shock leads also to not acquire the target language or your second language because of your because you are afraid of criticism so you will not really acquire the target language culture shock leads to anxiety if you don't know the cultures of that particular country you cannot do your best or you cannot you cannot showcase your talents because you, because you do other culture so guys in order for you to be productive you need to have a background research for that certain country that you're going to go that you're going to explore it's because if you do not do so so it will just make you stress and it does not help and you know culture shock also leads to not acquire this target language or your second language that's culture shock so we are now in the last part of the affective factors which is the motivation what is motivation so guys what is your motivation like for some students their motivation is their crush because you know they love to go to school just to see <coughs> their crush but somehow they can learn because they always go to school but in this acculturation model this this motivation have two kinds the integrative motivation and the instrumental motivation integrative motivation is somewhat like you admire someone like Park and Shea because you really like her so you need to to learn her language and their cultures it's about your eagerness so there is really um there is really a big impact that you can really acquire the language 
the, the tar your target language or your second language because of your integrity motivation. Well, instrumental motivation, it's, it is just an instrument because it's just for, for the sake of my work. I need to learn the culture. I need to learn the language because for my own God's sake, for my own salary. So that's instrumental motivation, but does not really acquire the whole language. It's just an instrument. But for the integrity motivation, it is it is highly improved or integrative motivation is an effective way why because it really you really you can really acquire everything about the cultures in their language rather than instrumental motivation so that's the two kinds of motivation so guys thank you for watching i hope you guys learned the whole topic about the acculturation model thank you and god bless you